welcome back to another episode on the Mindtopia servers, episode 21, and today we've got a lot to do. Man, I have been thinking for the last couple days, and I've had some ideas, and you know how it goes when you get some ideas, and you just gotta do it, you know, it's like you get that idea, that strike of inspiration, and then it has to be done. I know we were in the middle of farming up some potion ingredients, but that's gonna have to wait, because, guys... I know what we're going to do at the end of this road. Remember we talking about the end of the road here. We're going to head out to probably a village of some sort or something like that over this way. So now I know exactly what we're going to do. And, I was, and it came to me while I was thinking. I don't remember why I was thinking. But again, I was thinking about my days playing World of Warcraft. And you know, remember in the classic game version of the game, you had Dalaran that was off in one of the zones and it was an imp it was a, a zone that you could not visit it was a large city with a magic dome a protective dome that was cast over top of it and you just couldn't get in there as a player but there's a lot of lore involved in that area and it was basically a city run by mages and they had put the dome up to protect themselves from the lich king and all that other stuff but that's basically kind of the direction I want to go with this town over here. So we have this, and this could be a tower that was conjured up by a mage that had gone rogue, or a wizard that had gone rogue from this town that's going to be over here. And so, to protect themselves from this rogue wizard, they have, in, you know, conjured up a dome over their town. And inside this town, we're going to import a bunch of of villagers from a snowy taiga or a snowy tundra. Because they have really cool skins. The best skins in the game as far as I'm concerned for, vi for villagers. And not only that, but their skins are going to look great in the, the color themes and the just basically the, the whole feel of the area. So that fits in perfectly with the lore of this area. So over here in this area here, we're probably going to map out a large... I want it to be a circular city. We're going to map out a large circle. And then we're going to build up our, our city. And it's going to be a very vibrant probably white and purples and real bright colors with stately buildings and we're going to have little shops around the edges and you know like a, a main building in the middle like a meeting house or something like that and we're going to stock it full of villagers and that's going to be where our trading hall is basically our our trading hall of, of it's just going to be they're going to be free range traders that's the way it's going to work and they're going to be in this little town with the, the, the dome across to keep them safe from mobs and such that want to get inside. As long as we got the inside fully lit up, then we don't have to worry about them getting eaten by mobs. But before I do that, there's a little bit of housekeeping we got to do over here before we get too involved with that over there. And that housekeeping involves these areas right here. This area right here needs to be filled with rubble, like what I've been talking about. And if you look over the edge, you can see the outside of our sorting system all around this place. And that needs to be covered. And there's a wandering trader down there. But all this area here needs to be terraformed. We have a ton of... Dude, you lost a llama down over the edge. What's wrong with you, man? You got anything good for me today? Anything I don't have? Ooh, emerald ore. I actually have one of those that I could trade with you, but I don't feel like it today. Some diamond ore. I think I got some of that already. If I have a dark prismarine or not, I'll have to double check. But we'll come back to you. We'll see you. We'll we'll revisit that. But yeah, all around here, where all the sorting system is sticking out the side of the building, all this area around our tower needs to get terraformed and finished up so we can carry down our road into our town. I need a, t a name for that town. We we've got to figure out what the name of this town is and just flesh out that backstory a little bit, but I'm really excited about this because I finally have a connection that I can use down there into our, our little villager center. And I have found some villagers already. I have found a, a, a town out in the snowy tundra. I have placed a fencing all around it, and I've lit up the area all the way around the town and inside the borders of that town, so our villagers should be nice and safe over there until we need them. So I'm going to have to fill, set up a a, a villager breeder out there that, that way and then build up some sort of a villager super highway across the roof of the nether 
to the a portal that we're going to place in our town over there so we can take them straight from the tundra over to here so they keep their their uh, tundra skins because if we breed them over here they're just going to get taiga skins and i don't want that so this is going to be a lot of work it's going to be a lot of things to do but that's 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 what we're here for that's what we want so i need to go gather up as much stone and coarse dirt and all kinds of other things that i can find to get busy terraforming around our base get our platforms all terraformed and get this tower on the outside at least complete the outside of this tower before we head down that way and get busy on our city so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get get all my stuff together and i'll meet you guys in just a minute okay and i have got a ton of materials gathered up and this is probably not going to be enough but it's okay i got plenty more where it came from and i can just pop back in here and grab it as i need to and also have some materials for the walkways up there i'm not going to do the whole thing so i'm going to rubble up the walkways so the parts that aren't rubbled will get the path blocks and whatnot in there so let's uh I'm gonna do some rockets I need some rockets so let's take flight here and see what we're doing all right, so we can see, basically, as I've explained, this this uh, tower has pushed its way up through the ground and come into being. So we need to we need to uh, rocky up this area here. We're doing rockier rocks. I mean, that's basically what we're doing. So this is going to be a whole lot of work. It's kind of why I've been putting it off, just because the e enormity of the project is is pretty intimidating to be honest but as i've said before it's not going to do itself and there's only one way it's going to get done and that's to do it so we're going to get busy doing it so after i rocky this up i'm probably going to clear away a lot of these trees here because i'm going to need room for rubble and whatnot i might even make some piney or pine trees if minecraft can have snow or snow we can have rocky or rocks and piney or pines how about that so that's what we're going to do that's the plan. That's what I'm going to get started doing. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started doing it. Let's rock. Let's go.
right, and that was a ton of work. That's probably about, I think it was close to six hours worth of footage compressed into about two minutes. Man, this thing came out awesome. And it's not done yet. We're not done with it yet. I just got kind of, you could call this kind of the framework of the design. If you look over here, you can kind of see more of a f bit of a finished product. And that's what I want to kind of go through and put. I've added some uh, some walls and some half slabs and stuff around to kind of break up the, the cubiness of it. It's not so everything isn't all the same size and shape and everything. So, you know, you just kind of go through... Uh, no, I don't like that. And, and, uh, see this, Mojang? See this? Bundles won't fix this. I have, I'm, I'm out of space, and I have to constantly do this juggle thing. That's bundles, not the answer. And it's just a cheaper, harder-to-get version of a shulker box. And I say harder to get because it's made out of rabbit hide. And have you ever hunted rabbits before? It's impossible to catch a rabbit and get its hide. I'm just saying. Anyway, like I was saying. So just gonna go through, just kind of break up the the layers, give it some some varying heights on things and such, and that's how we're gonna get this to kind of look pretty rocky. And then I also want to go through and look, and if, you know, this is caused by this thing just kind of pushing its way up through the ground. That's why it's real rocky and just kind of j a jumbled mess here. There's not too much. You know, there's not a whole lot of co cohesiveness to it, and that's kind of the, the point. But there would also have been trees here that would have been uprooted and pushed over. I'm out of cobblestone slabs. So I want to try to make some trees that have fallen over. And of course, you know, in Minecraft, it's hard to make angles, things be on an angle and have them look good. But I want to give it something a try and see if it looks okay. I also need to get some lights up over there because I've kind of accidentally built a bob farm. But, uh, so we're going to grab this and grab some leaves. There's some leaves around here somewhere. Give me some leaves. Those aren't, those aren't, those are the wrong kind of leaves. Those are the wrong kind of leaves. Give me leaves. Where are my leaves? There you are. Okay, so let's do this and this. All right. I kind of want to look... So where would be a good place for this? Well, right here on this part right here. So I think if we start with a tree and then we have it kind of just kind of go down like this. Kind of looks like it got pushed over maybe. Maybe I want to make it a little bit straighter. How about we try to take out some of that and make it just a bit straighter and then we can play with the leaves to give it some that depth. I don't know. This is hard. It's hard in Minecraft to do this because you want to go at a 45, but you can't place blocks at a 45. So, all right, let's... Get some leaves on here. Of course, it's getting dark now, so we're gonna probably have a creeper come by and blow up everything. That's okay. That's okay. We can uh, we can just uh, start a new world after that happens. That's cool. All right, so we got some leaves on here, and maybe we can have some leaves laying around in the area here. And let's go sleep so we can actually see what we're doing here. Uh, there was just a faster way. If you could just save a hot bar and be able to hit a hotkey or like tab or something like that to scroll through various hot bars, that would be the key. So as long as that block was in your, your uh, inventory and you had saved that hot bar, it would show up there in your hot bar. So you could just quickly cycle through varying things just an idea just an idea not because I you know Mo Yang obviously watches my videos constantly for research and development purposes I'm just throwing some ideas out there for you guys all right so we got some leaves on here let's see how this looks let's see 
see how that looks. Yeah. All right. Maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger. We can do a few more of these kind of all over the place. I think I want to go a little bit bigger with the next ones. I think that's going to add some some cool little. Maybe we can have one upside down or something with some like maybe dirt stuck, a clump of dirt stuck to it, like a tree had been uprooted. And I see you there. It's daytime, so you're friendly now, but you won't be for very long. But, uh, you know, like the, the roots came out and took all the dirt with them. You see in, in real life from time to time like that. So we're just going to keep doing this. Putting some some texture on these things. And I'm going to go through and hide a bunch of lights around here. And I still need to do... Oops. I'll... Oops. Lost, lost my grass. Right, I'll have to replace the grass. But... I need to go through and do all those layers too with some rubble and whatnot on top of them. But I have just about exhausted myself of terraforming for for a little bit and when you when you get to a point where you stop having fun on your project because you've been doing it for too much, that's a good good time to step away and find something else to do and then come back to it because if you're not having fun, what's the point? It's a game. It's a game, you should be having fun. And if you're not, then play another game. Or do something different in the game. There's no point in like making yourself miserable playing a game. But uh I'm gonna throw this on get in there. There we go. Alright. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going around and around and around, texturizing this place, getting it all built up. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Do you... Is this... Conjuring that... Pushed up out of the ground and just kind of ripped everything out... Image? I think... I think... I think we got pretty... Pretty darn close with it. I think it's probably one of the... The... Not probably. This is the largest terraforming project I've ever done. And I'm super excited about it. And I cannot wait... Next episode, guys. Next episode. You guys just wait. Next episode, we're we're carving our road out to our new town. I am really excited to get that done. And I'm probably going to finish up these layers between episodes so we can call our base, well, at least the exterior done. The exterior is going to be done. We won't have anything on the inside just yet. And I still don't have a plan for how to get to the varying levels except for flying to them. But, uh... We're just going to ignore that and pretend it doesn't exist. That's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. We can fly. Flying is fine. But, uh, yeah, that's probably going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, this has been Neely. Bye-bye. <laughs>